Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we have some nerfs and buffs that we'd like to see in the next set of balance changes in Brawl Stars. So let's go. All right, starting out with the nerfs, some of the most broken brawlers inside of the game. And we're gonna start out with a nerf for Daryl. Now, in my opinion, Daryl is the best tank inside the game. And the main reason is because Daryl can be played almost anywhere, if not any map. Daryl's just too good right now, in my opinion. So the nerf that I would give to Daryl is to reduce Daryl's shield after rolling. In my opinion, the shield is just too strong and uh, you're wasting way too much ammo on Daryl half the time and then if you're wasting ammo the rest of his team just comes and sweeps you and that's just too broken in my opinion so we're gonna nerf Daryl's shield all right up next we want to nerf Grom now this probably doesn't come to a surprise to any of you Grom in my opinion is just too broken and I think the main reason Grom is broken is because all of Grom's mechanics now Grom is actually pretty solid versus tanks because of the super Grom is very good on grassy maps because of the gadget and just Grom is a really strong thrower overall now so in my opinion grom just has it all and needs some sort of nerf because grom's brawler is just too broken in general so either i would nerf the super make grom weaker to tanks or i would nerf the gadget so that way grom is just not so good on grassy maps and sort of kind of eliminating the fact that grom is just super op at everything but yeah nerf grom all right up next we have a nerf for fang now fang in my opinion has been showing up a lot inside of the current meta and the main reason is because Fang is a really good last to second last kind of pick inside a draft and is very good versus squishy brawlers. Now, uh, the main reason I would nerf Fang it's because the super charge rate to me feels a little bit too short. Sometimes, yes, it is hard to hit your fang kicks or whatever you want to call it, but at the end of the day, you only have to hit four kicks and you are going to get super and you can start chaining your super. So I think it needs to be nerfed. I think the super charge rate needs to be upped to five or six kicks to get your super. In my opinion, that will make fang a lot more balanced inside the current meta. So yeah. All right, up next, we have another tank brawler and that is going to be Ash. Now, Ash has honestly been so dominant inside the current meta in my opinion especially on grassy maps ash just seems very very hard to deal with unless you have a lot of counters or like super hard counters and there's not very many of them so the nerf i would give to ash in my opinion ash just has rage a little bit too long it seems like when ash gets rage just never goes away and ash is raged up for the next 20 seconds of the game and it's really really hard to deal with so personally just reduce the amount of time that ash gets raged up for and i think that will do a lot to help ash in the current map. all right up next i have a nerf that you guys might not be really expecting and that is going to be a nerf to pam now pam has been sh showing up a lot inside the current meta and honestly it's just because it's really good versus kind of everything especially good versus tanks but i still think pam is just a little bit too tanky in my opinion i think that a small hp nerf to pam could be honestly really helpful inside the current meta so just small hp nerf to pam all right the next nerf is going to go to byron now byron has been very strong in the current meta for a very long time as long as i can really remember and I think one of the main reasons is because Byron charges super a little bit too fast. And I think it's four shots to charge your super. And honestly, it's pretty easy to hit Byron shots. So I think if you reduce that to five shots, maybe even six shots, Byron will be in a really, really good spot. I think Byron is still just a little bit too good. Now, another nerf that I'd like to see is going to be on Lola. Now, in my opinion, Lola is just too much of a tanky mid-range brawler that does a ridiculous amount of damage. And there's two nerfs that you could either do for Lola, and one of them would be a HP nerf. In my opinion, again, Lola is just too tanky right now as a mid-range brawler. Or you can nerf the supercharge rate because it feels like when Lola gets one clone, Lola will have clone for the rest of the game. It seems like Lola just gets cloned so often and it's very, very hard to deal with sometimes, especially with that gadget. So either nerf the supercharge rate or nerf the HP and it will go a long way for Lola. All right, the last two nerfs I have are gonna be for gadgets and they're pretty small, but the first one is going to be Crow's slow gadget. And uh, we just wanna reduce how long you're actually slowed for. Right now, I believe it's five seconds, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. And I just wanna reduce that to either four or three seconds. I think Crow's in a pretty good spot overall right now, but I feel like that slow, again, is just really toxic inside the game and it's a little bit too much or just reduce it by a little bit. All right, the other gadget that I wanna nerf is going to be Piper's homemade recipe or curveball, whatever one you wanna call it. Personally, I call a curveball but basically i want to reduce the range of the homemade recipe in my opinion it doesn't make that much sense why the homemade recipe goes so much farther than the regular shot i think if you nerf the range it becomes just a good gadget not a super op gadget in those 1v1 long range matchups and right now i feel like piper is just a little bit too dominant in those 1v1 sniper matchups i think this nerf could make those 1v1 interactions a little bit better
All right, just before we continue with the video, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a Q&A in the Tribe Discord server today, February 24th at 5 p.m. CT. So if you guys have any sort of questions you want to ask me, make sure you guys go in the description down below, join the Tribe Discord server because I'm ready for some spicy questions and I hope to see you all there, but let's get back to the video. All right, now that we got the nerfs out of the way, let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with me so far or not, but we got some buffs that we want to see right now. All right, so the first buff that I want to see inside of the next balance changes is going to be for Brock. Now, in my opinion, Brock has just completely fallen off the meta after Brock got nerfed. Once the shot became pretty slow, it's super easy to dodge and Brock just seems to be outshined by basically every other long range baller in the game right now. So personally, you could either buff Brock's damage or you could buff the speed of the shot. In my opinion, I think you have to buff the speed of the shot a little bit because it's just too easy to dodge at the moment. And uh, Brock needs a little bit of love. So hopefully Brock gets a buff in the next balance chain. All right, another brawler that I think needs a buff that hasn't really been inside the meta for a while is going to be Bo. Now, Bo, in my opinion, is just okay. Honestly, Bo is not terrible brawler. At the moment, I feel like Bo is just not great inside the meta. Tanks are just too dominant and they seem to overrun Bo. It just, Bo can't deal with them. So I think Bo just needs a small damage buff and maybe you'll see Bo a little bit more inside the competitive meta. All right, the next two buffs might seem a little bit weird since we've been nerfing most of the tanks inside the game. But personally, I think BB and Bull need a small buff because they're just getting outshined by every single tank in the game right now. Personally, inside a draft, if you ever have the option, you're just gonna pick either Frank, Primo, Rosa, Daryl, Ash, any tank other than BB and Bull at the moment, unless it's, I guess, Heist. But basically, they're just not that good right now, so they need a little bit of love, maybe a small HP buff, or even a big HP buff. I don't really know, but something to help them out, because right now, they are by far the worst tanks in the game. All right, another buff that I would like to see is going to be for Max. Now, the reason I want to see a buff for Max is because I think Max brings a lot of diversity to the game with the type of comps you can run inside a competitive. With speed, you could run so many different variations to comp but i don't want to see a huge max buff because then max is going to be the best pick in every single scenario but i just want to see a small supercharge rate buff from max that way you, it can kind of make the speed kind of comps a little bit more viable inside a draft but yeah just a small buff all right the next three brawlers i'm going to group them together because i think they all need a small damage buff and that is going to be mr p lou and gene and in my opinion they all just don't deal enough damage at the moment so just a small damage buff to the three of them could help them come back back inside the meta now gene kind of controversial buff because gene is somewhat viable on certain maps uh, especially bounty but i still think a small buff wouldn't hurt but i think that could help them all out all right the last buff i want to see inside of the next balance changes is going to be for sprout now i want sprout to be absolutely op yeah i'm just kidding actually sprout's in a pretty decent spot at the moment damn fam you got the whole chat laughing but I'd like to see a buff for Barley. Now, Barley just seems to be outshined by the other three thrower ballers, Tick, Grom, and Sprout. Honestly, in every scenario, you just don't pick Barley. Maybe in Heist here and there, but basically Barley just doesn't do enough at the moment. It's just not quite a great thrower. I think either a very small range buff or a damage buff could go a long way for Barley to help Barley kind of compete with those other throwers. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are all the nerfs and buffs I want to see inside the next balance changes. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree or disagree with all my picks let me know and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video but i'll see you in the next one peace